Hello, it's Brent Share Leverage Lane, and today is Monday, which means it's Macro Monday, and I can't think of a better way to start out your week than being more efficient and effective on your computer, and the best way to do that is use our latest macro. What kind of macro are we dropping this morning? Let me show you. All right, this is the macro we're dropping this morning. This is an Excel macro, find and replace across multiple Word documents. Let's say, for example, a company rebranded and changed locations. How would you handle updating all of the necessary internal documents with the new company name, address, phone number, and email address? This is gonna be a massive undertaking for any company, which is why we created this new macro, Excel find and replace across multiple Word documents. This macro references three columns in Excel column A to find values, column B to replace those values with a different value, and then column C is optional. You can actually use column C to manually indicate the full path to existing Word documents, or you can leave column C blank. And this macro will loop through all of the existing Word documents in the active Excel workbooks folder path. Once this macro loops through and opens those Word documents, it then loops through all of the existing find and replace values in column A and B. This macro is a great way to maintain those Word documents that are constantly changing or massive amounts of Word documents that need to be updated. If you've yet to see this macro in action, check out our See It In Action video here, and you can see below here is the code to run this macro. But before we dive into that, I do want to show you this section first time using VBA. If this is your first time using VBA, you need to complete these three steps. Activate the developer tab, update your macro security, and set up references for leverage and lean macros. Let me show you how quickly you can do this. By navigating to Excel, you can head up to the quick access toolbar and then head down to more commands. And then within this pop-up, head up to customize ribbon then over in the main tab section, scroll down, you'll see the developer tab is unchecked. Go ahead and checkmark that and click OK. You'll now see the developer tab is available within the developer tab. You can select macro security. You'll see that all macros are currently disabled without notification. Go ahead and enable them. This is not recommended because potentially dangerous code could run. That would be if you're putting in VBA code individual basic blindly and just clicking run. That's not what we're doing here. We're putting in the code, walking through it so you can see exactly what it's going to do. Go ahead and click OK. And then let's dive into Visual Basic. In Visual Basic, go ahead and head over to Tools, select References. Now these are some of the references you need to successfully run this macro, but it looks like we also need Microsoft Word 16.0 object library. The easy way to find that is just go ahead and scroll down to Microsoft, head over to W to find Word, and then click OK. All right, so we're ready to paste this macro into Visual Basic. Let's go ahead and create a new module with this black drop down arrow. Select module, we'll head back over to leveragelane.com. And then the easy way to select all of this code is just double click in between the code line and the physical code itself. To select all of this code, you can go ahead and copy, navigate back to Visual Basic, and then paste this into module one. All right, so when this macro runs, it's going to reference these three columns, as I mentioned before, the first column, A, is where we're going to find values. The adjacent cell in column B is what will replace the value in column A. So you can either use column C to list in the paths, as I've indicated here, or just simply allow this macro to run with C completely blanked out. Then it will look to the folder path of the active workbook and then just find the existing Word documents in there. So let me show you what happens when you run this macro. And what I like to do with these macros is create a custom button to fire these on command. Let me show you how to do that. We're gonna navigate back up to customize quick access toolbar, head over to more commands. Within customize ribbon, we're going to create a custom tab by simply selecting new tab. And then we can name that new tab macros and then you can select the custom group under the new tab I like to clear out the name and then with the custom group selected we can head over to popular commands select macros 
and then simply move over and add the new macro we've created. Now I like to clear up the name here. I'll go ahead and make this look a lot nicer, put in some spaces, remove some words. And then once you've cleaned up the name, you can select an icon just to help reference what this macro is going to do, and then click OK. So now what you'll see is we have a new macros tab. Before I run this macro, I do want to show you the current state of these Word documents I'll be doing a finer replace of. So you can see in these Word documents, I have some values that I intend to replace simply by referencing the columns here. So I'll go ahead and close all of these Word documents and run this macro. Now before I click run by selecting this custom button, I do want to clear out the values in C so I can find these Word documents that I just opened in the active workbooks folder path. Once you're ready, just go ahead and click this custom button to run this macro. It may take a minute for this macro to complete by opening those Word documents and looping through all those find and replace values, but once it's complete, you'll see this message box just kind of giving you a rundown of what has all happened. The Word documents that were open, all of the values that were found and replaced, and then once you're done, you can go ahead and click OK. So again, this macro is a great way to maintain multiple Word documents and updating values if they're constantly changing. Again, the choice is yours to either put in the full path in column C or simply leave that blank to then loop in to where you have this workbook saved. All right, well, let me show you the straightforward, really easy customized section here. Not much going on. If you don't want to see the message box at the end, you can go ahead and remove that simply by making code line 66 a comment or simply just removing it. Okay. Well, that's all I have for this new macro, Excel, find and replace across multiple Word documents. I absolutely don't wanna know what you think of this one. Leave some comments below if you think that this macro is something you'll use in your daily processes. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome. Thank you so much for taking time to view this video. I really do appreciate it. If you wanna start using the macro of seeing the video, I have a link in the description. If you could do me another big favor, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, stay updated on any new videos that I'm posting, like us, follow us on all of our other social media channels, and as always, stay awesome.